What is up, you guys? Welcome back. We are right here with some more information to do with not only the Heartbreaker Aphrodite skin, but mainly to do with the Star Wars. I just wanted to throw this up right here because this was accidentally leaked by Fortnite themselves in the news tab. So this is the next style or the new style for Aphrodite. That's pretty cool. I mean, it was leaked by them. Like I said, you should be able to go in your news tab right now and see it unless they've removed it. Not really sure. But anyway, on to the next things we got to talk about. All right. Now, Fortnite has actually changed their background. You can see it is now Fortnite and Star Wars. So I noticed that earlier. You can see we got the Mandalorian style car right there looking really good. We got Adventure Pilly. We got everything to do with Star Wars on their cover image on their Twitter. So that's pretty cool. You can see that they're uh, getting ready for this May 3rd event that's going to be dropping in just two days. All right, you guys, we got Chewbacca right here. We're going to go ahead and read this kind of like patch note and talk about everything to do with Chewbacca right here. It says Chewbacca brings his bowcaster to Battle Royale. Chewbacca joins the fight. Millennium Falcon co-pilot Chewbacca has been captured and it's up to you to rescue him to save him from the claws of the Empire. You'll need to head to a specific Imperial roadblock. The one he's at changes each match. Oh, that's pretty cool to know. Chewbacca will cheer after being liberated, then follow you into battle with his trusty bowcaster. So that's really, really cool to know. So you'll be able to hire him in a way. I mean, you got to help him with this Imperial roadblock situation. But after that, then he will follow you and he'll help you battle in Battle Royale. Now on to the next one here. It says, who says Wookiees should have all the fun? Chewbacca will hand you your own Wookiee bowcaster as a thanks for rescuing him. So that is one way we can get this weapon. That's awesome. You can also find one inside Imperial chests at Imperial roadblocks across the island. So there's going to be a lot of these Imperial chests, like I said, at these Imperial roadblocks that have these Wookiee bowcasters. So keep that in mind. You don't necessarily have to go help Chewbacca there, but I think we're going to be helping him as soon as we can, man, because that's going to be pretty neat. It says here, with this weapon equipped, shoot individual quarrels quickly or charge up a heavier explosive shot. You'll like this thing. Wow. Okay, so that looks pretty intense right there. I'm hoping that that gun is very powerful and we can, you know, really utilize it in Battle Royale. All right, it says, wield Darth Vader's lightsaber once again. Don't underestimate the power of the dark side. Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers will be returning to the BR Island in the Lambda Shuttle, which will touch down in one of the three setting landing zones each match. So it's going to be a little different where they land each match. So that's pretty cool. Defeat Vader in battle and you'll be able to pick up his lightsaber. Use Darth Vader's lightsaber to block incoming fire and swing at enemies and even throw it at your opponents. So you guys remember how the lightsaber work there you could throw it and it come back to you so that's what they're talking about really really cool excited for that one on to the next right here we got the e11 blasters with stormtroopers come their e11 blasters grab these returning weapons from defeated stormtroopers or from imperial chest at vader's landing sites okay so that is how we can get our hands on these e11 blasters it says a galaxy full of quests put your bowcaster and blaster skills to the test to complete Battle Royale Star Wars quest. You'll receive a Battle Pass level up for completing five of these quests and the AWR Pack Back Bling for completing 10. On down at the bottom, it says Battle Royale Star Wars quest will be released in two phases during the crossover. The first on May 3rd and 9 a.m. Eastern Time and the second at 9 a.m. Eastern Time on May 7th. The Star Wars Bash and Battle Royale, including the quests, will end May 14th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So keep that in mind as far as when they're going to start and when they're going to end right there with the quest. Now moving on to this here, which has a little more rhythm than those other posts. It says, get the galaxy grooving in Fortnite Festival. An area inspired by Moe's Isley's famous cantina will be coming to the Fortnite Festival Jam stage on May 3rd. Create your own version of the famous cantina band by getting up on stage with your friends or just chill and appreciate some Sandy songs. So you can see they changed the layout there of like the Fortnite Festival. That's really cool, man. That's looking crazy in the best way possible. Down below it says, unlock the seven string Halleck set guitar. Pick up a Naboo classic. You can unlock the seven string Halleck set guitar by completing seven of Fortnite Festival Star Wars quests. These quests go live 9 a.m. Eastern time on May 3rd. For completing just four, you'll unlock a battle pass level up. We got the seven string guitar, the Halleck set guitar that you can unlock so keep that in mind and you guys may 14th at 9 a.m is when they're going to end as far as the quest here so don't miss out 
Now, I really like that they made sure not to leave Rocket Racing out of this. It says, keep away from those energy binders, Star Wars and Rocket Racing. Ready your hyperdrive. It's about time to boost to the quest tab. Keep a lookout for Star Wars quests flipping into Rocket Racing on May 3rd at 9 a.m. Eastern Time and more at 9 a.m. Eastern Time on May 7th. Complete seven of these quests to unlock a Battle Pass level up and 14 to unlock Pod Racing Inspired Energy Binders Trail. Starting May 3rd at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Rocket Racing will also have May the 4th quest. Complete four to unlock Anakin's Pod Racer decal and eight to unlock Darth Maul decal. Drive over to the dark side of the track. All right, so here we have Rocket Racing information and a little update that's going to be happening with that as well. You can look down here at the bottom. It says both sets of quests will be available until May 20th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Now moving on to some more pretty cool stuff here. It says Star Wars comes to the shop. A Starship load of items will be entering the shop. Here's a preview of some of the new offerings that'll be available. New outfits. We got a new Luke style there. We got the Lando Calrissian and the AWR Trooper. Take your pick from a Jedi apprentice, a smooth talking smuggler, and one of the Empire's most covert soldiers. The Dagobah Luke, Lando Carrissian, and AWR Trooper outfits will be in the shop starting May 3rd with the release of version 29.40. So keep that in mind, May 3rd, these will be released right here in Fortnite. Now it continues to say, it doesn't matter if you're from a swampy plant, Cloud City, or the Empire. It's always nice to have options. That's why all three of these outfits also have a Lego style. That's pretty cool. So all three of these outfits will have a Lego style. Now one thing I'm kind of confused about, or hoping that I'm wrong about is the fact that nothing's really stated in all this that Chewbacca is going to be coming as a skin that we can use in Battle Royale. I mean, I know we can hire him in a way and he'll come around and fight for us, but I'm not thinking that we'll be able to access him or buy him in the shop. So I don't know. Hopefully I'm wrong on that. I really do hope so because Chewbacca would be an awesome skin along with these skins right here too. Now we can see these skins with their Lego styles. We got Luke there, Lando, and the AWR Trooper all looking fantastic. All right, here it says Boba Fett, Han Solo, Kylo Ren, and more return. Looking to fill in the gaps in your Star Wars squad? Yes, I am. A bunch of Star Wars series outfits will be returning to the shop throughout this crossover. Original trilogy era, Boba Fett, Han Solo, Imperial Stormtrooper, Leia Organa, new trilogy era, Finn, Kylo Ren, Array, Sith Trooper, and Zori Bliss. All right, you can see what we have right here. A ride fit for a bounty hunter. Cruise in a car crafted from Mandalorian Steel. The Besker car body is the toughest ride in the galaxy and is available in the Fortnite shop starting May 3rd with the release of version 29.40. This car body is part of the Besker bundle, which includes Boba Fett style wheels. We got the Bokatan Cries Besker decal. We got the Besker wheels again, another design. We got the Sabine Wren Besker decal. A lot of decals and different wheel designs, so this is pretty cool. It says all the items in the bundle are usable in Rocket Racing, Battle Royale, and Creator-Made Islands where car items can be used. They're also eligible for cross-game ownership with Rocket League. Anybody out there that owns Rocket League can access these same vehicles over there. All right, now it says, Give Cantina Band a go with new intergalactic instruments. Play like an Ewok percussionist with the Endorian drum kit. Or if you're the lead, become a Nalarginist with the Nalargen guitar. Okay, so this is all the stuff you'll be able to access in the festival here. So really, really cool. The Cantina Band Jam Track and Doria Drum Kit and Nalargan Kitar will be in the Fortnite shop starting May 3rd with the release of version 29.40. Thank them on tour to Fortnite Festival, Battle Royale, and Creator Made Islands where jamming's all good. So you can use those in more places than just Fortnite Festival. So that's pretty cool. All right, now this is something I actually missed. I wanted to throw in right here. So we'll be able to play an iconic Star Wars song. So we went over all of that right there. I think that brings us to the end of all the patch note style things we have. If you guys are going to be picking up any of these new skins, be sure to enter my support or creator code, Cody-72. I'd really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Goodbye, guys.